So, Tony, what do you have there? Aha, gotcha, little smuggler. We don't approve of such behavior on our channel. No, no, no. By the way, this is the perfect opportunity to tell you some stories about smugglers, which tried to pass all kinds of things through the borders, from parrots in their pants to people hidden inside the seat of a car. We are sure you're gonna like these interesting stories. Let's start. One day at an airport in Australia, workers noticed a passenger on a flight from the United Arab Emirates. His gait seemed very strange to them. The suspicious tourist was taken to security and asked to remove his pants. Then it became clear that their suspicions were well grounded. It turned out the resourceful Australian had visited an exotic bird show in Dubai and decided to take some birds with him. He wrapped the animals in paper and put them in his pants. The birds were eventually released and sent for examination, while the smuggler was arrested. Another bird smuggler tried to pass some baby hummingbirds out of India. By the way, here's an interesting fact. The hummingbird is the world's smallest bird and the only bird that can hover in the air in one place, thanks to the fact that it can flap its wings incredibly fast. But let's continue with the sad story of this smuggler. He was more creative than the last one and built some sort of nest in his pants around the groin area. Then he wrapped each bird in a rag and placed it in the special compartment. Fortunately, the animals were packed so carefully and gently that they were not hurt in transit at all. By the way, some people don't want to transport exotic birds across the border, but rather themselves. This is a more difficult task, so people get very imaginative. For example, a resident of Mexico wanted to get to the US so much that he disguised himself as a car seat in a van. Unfortunately, his trick didn't work. Border guards suspected something was wrong and decided to thoroughly check the car, where they found the resourceful immigrant. But besides the seats, there are other places in the car that people try to use as a hiding place to get to another country. For example, the front panel inside the cabin or even the bumper. Yes, many illegal immigrants have been found under these parts of cars. Let's move on to China, the country that produces the most gadgets and electronic devices in the world. The country that produces the most gadgets and electronic devices in the world. It is from China that smugglers most often try to smuggle different smartphones and iPhones. For example, a man returning from China to his home country tried to smuggle over 100 iPhones. The guy carefully taped the gadgets together. He made the most advanced vest and shorts, which he put on under his clothes. According to customs officials, his gait gave him out. He was too uptight, which drew the attention of the authorities. Let's move on to bigger failures. A great disappointment befell these smugglers at the border with Poland. And yet, their cunning plan was almost perfect. Huge quantities of cigarettes without excise stamps were neatly packed inside real logs. I don't know what prompted the border guards to do an extra check and cut the logs open, but all the stashes were found. Friends, have you heard about the toughest and most dangerous smuggler cat? Okay, just kidding. It's just an ordinary house cat. But once in Brazil, the resourceful accomplices of some inmates at a local prison tried to smuggle this cat with a package for their friends. The guards saw the white cat calmly walking through the prison gates and thought something was wrong. When the animal was caught, it turned out that it was working as a delivery cat and was trying to smuggle into prison a parcel with a cell phone, drill bits, and files tied to its body. Obviously, everything was seized and the cat was released. By the way, cats aren't the only smugglers of the animal world. Resourceful drug dealers from Costa Rica used an ordinary pigeon instead of a cat. They attached a bundle of cocaine and marijuana to the body of the bird and sent it to the buyer in the local prison. But the pigeon failed to fulfill the order and it was caught by the prison guards. And now for the most resourceful smugglers. In 2010, Colombian customs officials confiscated a World Cup made of cocaine, which was worth even more than the original cup. They mixed the powder with gasoline and acetone to make it malleable. From this paste, they molded a replica of the cup and painted it with gold paint. Do you know any unusual smuggler stories or maybe you smuggled something yourself without telling anyone? Tell us in the comments below. The best story will be featured in the next episode. See you next week. Bye-bye.